So don't forget, of course, to wear green this morning. It is St. Patrick's Day. Did you know it is considered the most celebrated national holiday around the world? And over in Ireland, half a million people will gather on the streets today. In fact, they're there right now for the annual St. Paddy's Day Parade. Joining us now all the way from Dublin is Gabe Saglier. And he's uh, with Travel Zoo's senior editor. Good morning to you. Well, it's almost lunchtime over there, so we can hear the celebrating going on behind Travel, you. Good morning to you. <laughs> Well, listen, this is just, I mean, we're moments away from what is the world's second largest St. Paddy's Day Parade. New York's got the biggest, okay? But Dublin, Ireland is the second largest uh, St. Paddy's Day Parade in the world. It begins at high noon, so we're literally just moments away. Take a look at just how big these crowds have gotten here in the last couple of hours. Uh, about a half million people descend under the streets of Dublin uh, in anticipation of what is always a very spectacular Mardi Gras-style parade. Uh, it includes these, these dramatic, spectacular flows. And then there are 14 different marching bands, 10 of them from the United States. Uh, there's a high school out of Orlando that's um, uh, going to be uh, out here as well uh, along the parade route. So, but that brings a lot of Americans uh, out here to celebrate their Irish roots. You know, 40 million Americans claim some degree of Irish heritage, so it makes sense that they would pick this particular time of the year to come out and, you know, discover those roots and uh, share in the fun that is uh, St. Paddy's Day. Um, I want to show you, uh, I've been here all week, I wanted just to show you some of those visuals that, you know, make Ireland famous, because if you're thinking about traveling out here, the neat thing to do is just to, uh, you know, get a rental car and uh, head out there and discover some of those beautiful visuals uh, throughout the um, uh, beautiful country of Ireland. I was out on the west coast of Ireland earlier in the week, uh, checking out the cliffs of Moher uh, and some of those very dramatic coastlines. And, and you know, once you're in Dublin, uh, you can pretty much reach any part of, uh, of, the, of the country very, very easily. 90 minutes, two hours away, you're pretty much anywhere you want to be. Um, the uh, theme for the parade this year is Imagine If. It is the uh, look at the next 100 years through the eyes of Ireland's children. So a very futuristic uh, feel to a lot of the floats that we expect to, uh, to see coming down the parade this year. But I think the kids uh, of this country and the vision of what they see. Now, this is a very young country, almost 100 years old. So it's all about the next 100 years seen through the eyes of Ireland's children but what's uh, you know pervasive here is the green by the I asked somebody by the way how come you you pinch people if they're not wearing green and they had no idea what I'm talking about I think we made that up back in the States just an excuse to pinch someone you you know you want to pinch really the pinching doesn't happen here and the green is I mean it's a sea of green as you can imagine here green is Ireland's national color in honor of the shamrock which St. Patrick used to spread his message um, uh, when he came to, to spread Christianity in Ireland uh, but we'll be here we'll be here all morning we'll be sending images back as the parade begins uh, you'll get a little taste uh, throughout the morning of, uh, of just how spectacular this parade gets. Gabe, thanks very much for joining us. Do appreciate it. Man, did he get the choice assignment or what?